In this assignment, you will start with your campus database that you created in Part 1. We will add forms to add a new office, a new agent, a new destination, and a sale. We will add a form to search for a sale, and we will add a form to modify or delete a sale. Before we get started, we will make two modifications to our campus database using PHP MyAdmin. First, we're going to set the indexes in our tables to auto increment, so when we add a new record, the primary key field will automatically increment to the next available value and get set to that. Then we're going to change a couple column names so all the column names across all the tables are unique. This way we can refer to any field in any table in the database by just the field name. So, log into cPanel and click into PHP MyAdmin. For each table in the campus database, we're going to set the primary key to auto increment as new records are added. So let's start with destination. Click Structure. For dest underscore ID, click Change. Change the default to None. Click the A underscore I auto increment checkbox. Click Save. Go back to the database table list. We're going to do exactly the same thing for the rest of the tables. For Office, click Structure. For office underscore ID, click Change. Change the default to None. Click the A underscore I auto increment checkbox. Click Save. Go back to the database table list. For Sales, click Structure. For Sales underscore ID, click Change. Change the default to None. Click the A underscore I auto increment checkbox. Click Save. Go back to the database table list. For sales underscore agent, click Structure. For sales underscore agent, click Change. Change the default to None. Click the A underscore I auto increment checkbox. Click Save. That completes setting the primary keys to auto increment. Now when we look at our create table statements, we see the auto increment value is now specified. The auto increment value is the primary key of the next record to be added. Now to remove the ambiguous field names. We see that the sales table has two fields that are named the same as fields in other tables. Sales underscore agent is a field in both the sales and sales agent tables. And destination is a field in both the sales and destination tables. Since both fields in sales are foreign key indexes into other tables, Let's change the name of the fields in the sales table by adding an underscore ID on the end of each field name. If we do that, all field names in the database will be unique. Back in PHP MyAdmin, for the sales table, click Structure. First, we need to remove the foreign key relations for both the two fields whose names are, we are going to change. Under the list of fields, click Relation View. Remove the relations by selecting blank for
for both sales underscore agent and destination. Click Save and click Structure to return to the list of field names. For the sales underscore agent field, click change and change the name of the sales underscore agent field to sales underscore agent underscore ID and click save. For the destination field, click change and change the name of the destination field to destination underscore ID and click Save. Now, when we look back at our first database assignment, we notice the tag with the select destination dot destination has a problem with the sales underscore agent field in the sales table. So we need to change all the references to sales dot sales underscore agent and destination in sales to add the underscore ID to each field name. So get back into the WordPress admin section to edit the page and fix the SQL statements that reference the old field names in the sales table. In the Agents by Destination SQL statement, change sales.sales underscore agent to sales underscore agent underscore ID. Sales.sales underscore agent to sales underscore agent underscore ID again. And sales.destination to destination underscore ID. Now, since all the field names are unique, we can actually remove the table name references from all the fields and it doesn't look so cluttered. In the destinations by agent SQL statement, change sales.sales underscore agent to sales underscore agent underscore ID and sales.destination to destination underscore ID. And we can remove all the table name references here too. Click Update and View Page. As we scroll down, we see that everything works again. Notice that since all the field names are unique, our sales table now displays all the columns, including the foreign keys. This concludes the modifications to the database, and now we are ready to add our new forms.